The fembots, God. Fembots, come on, Las Vegas, womanizing, blah, 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 you know? <laughs> you want me to walk around in one of those things with the push-up, you know, it's like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> the writers on, on the bionic shows and Bionic Woman, we, we were given pretty much complete freedom. I had hired Arthur Rowe to be story editor for me, and Arthur was a mainstay along with Jim Perriott uh, on the series. And one day we were talking about, well, we've got this world of robotics that we're in. Suppose we have really create some real robots. And I think it was Arthur who said, well, what about if they're all women? And we could call them fembots. And I said, oh, Arthur, that is really stupid. I call them fembots. That could be really cool. <laughs> you always come up with an idea and have to run it past people, but generally if one or two or three of us liked an idea, then it would fly. Some of the scripts they came up with, like, whoa, <laughs> oh, wow, <laughs> that's interesting. I think that was, that was sort of what the 70s were all about. Bionic Woman is basically a kid's show. It's really, you know, that's who they're, who they're aiming at. You can trust that you're gonna eat my dust when I break you in half. Everybody's gonna laugh and say, bashful, battling Betty's a bust.